as Gal Legends. Welcome new subscribers, welcome OG subscribers. Let's get into today's lesson. So today I want to talk about riding riffs and what elements would you use. Now one of the biggest elements would be the rhythmic element of a riff. Now if you just played, you know, straight quarter notes and it's just... doesn't really have much swing to it and then you would think well where would you get ideas for riffs from now obviously some awesome riffs that are written and things you've listened to will inform you of rhythmic ideas another awesome influence is going to be the drums the backbone of all riffs now when I'm playing a riff I definitely can hear drums in my head so if it's just a straight you imagine you got the hi-hat going it's just like Now that bat bat that's like hitting the snare. So you know, in my head that's what I can hear. It's the hi hat with the snare. And then the other idea would obviously be if you got double kicks just rolling along. Then that's going to give you. And that would be incorporating both of those elements. So if you had the simple 4-4 hi-hat kraken. So with that idea there, the hi-hat's just doing the and then the double kick's coming. You like my air drum freaking voice style? It's pretty cool, eh? But you know what I mean. So in my head, I can hear drums. Say we're gonna take like an awesome riff like New Level. So that rhythmic section there, he actually just came up with that going like tapping it out. So you've got to get into that mindset of actually starting to hear rhythms and like air drumming, you can just hear it. You've got to start focusing more on it. You've got to listen more to the drums. You know, when a drum like counts in and it's like cha 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 cha. So what I'm doing there is mixing rhythmic ideas, like the accent, I've heard drums do that, where they just go chop, 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 chop. So you may even do like choking the cymbal out too. So one of the biggest elements of writing riffs and one of the biggest elements of playing metal is the drums. So obviously that's gonna be one of your biggest influences. So then it's gonna to come to the question, can your picking hand do what the drums are doing? You know, so when you do one of my favorite like triplet type of things, it's like. And then I just speed that up. And then what I'd be doing in my head, as I'm just got that rolling, I go, how about I throw in like a double kick blast sort of part? Then I'd think to myself, how could you incorporate both of those beats together? Then you gotta to think to yourself, how can you mix all these together? We've got the rhythmic gallop section, we've got the double kick section, what else could we add? So this is what I'm doing. As I'm playing in my head, I'm thinking about these different rhythmic sections. Now a classic 
riff or a rhythmic idea from Dime would be But what happens if we were just to speed that up to fit the which would be Then add the double kicks with that one. So you get what I'm doing there, is I'm trying and I keep practicing these ideas. When I'm playing, I just keep working on these ideas. Sometimes the rhythmic ideas don't really gel together, but the more you do it, you'll go, okay, that works, that flows, that doesn't flow, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm thinking rhythmically, and I'm also thinking from the pattern scale type of viewpoint. And the more you do it, the more you think that way, that's how you're going to create variations. So that's the whole point of today's video is thinking and exploring rhythmic variations and working on the strength of your picking hand. Because that's another thing too. If you don't have a strong tremolo picking or gallop, Even your down picking. See, I could keep going with that because my strength for the gallops, the picking, is good. I work on it a lot, and then I can just go, okay, I can hear that rhythm, let's make it happen. So, this is what you need to do when you're practicing. Keep working on that and it'll definitely help you write riffs, come up with these rhythmic variations. And you'll notice when I play, I always start nodding my head because to me it's the drum. It's the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm not counting one, two, three, four, but it's that head nod. Because it's the same as if you know a band, you've been listening to them for years, you go see them in concert, you know when that section's going to kick in because it's rhythmically, it's like, you've got that head nod. And it's pretty much always in 4-4 time, you know, or most of the stuff that really gets in my head. So yeah, use these ideas and see how you go, creating your own riffs. So until next time, take care of yourself, look after each other, love you all, and I'll see you next time.